everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. Um, so guys, we're just going to do a super quick, quick, quick intro. Um, if you guys are interested in crystals to help clear the chakras, anxiety, depression, you can visit Kim K Crystals. Um, the link for her website is below, and she also does Facebook Lives a couple times a week, which are really awesome. All that info is below. Recommended readers are also below. Um... We're going to be starting the uh, giveaways again, okay? So um, I had to stop that for a couple months, but we're going to be starting up again. So the winners will be announced at the beginning of the month, okay? So be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Um, in the description box below, you're going to see a list of everything that I give away every month. And all you have to do is go to the comment section and hashtag what you would like to win, okay? Um, and winners will be announced uh, at the beginning of every month. Um what else do I want to tell you guys? Um, for uh, live readings with me or video readings with me, so I will be going on live and doing uh, live question readings um, at least a few times a week. Uh, or you can book a reading with me through my website, which is listed below, okay? Um, and last but not least, guys, when leaving a comment, um, if you have something negative that you would like to say about the reading, you are more than welcome to drop a comment. Um, just please be aware that as a reader, it doesn't really affect me because, you know, I clear my energy and ground all day long. Um, but there are plenty of people that this reading will resonate with, so please try to not disregard or disrespect the people that are hurting. Um, you know, we are a family here and we try to be kind to one another. So if the reading doesn't resonate with you, um, you know, try to be understanding for the people that it does resonate with. Uh, last but not, well, I already said last but not least. <laughs> um, Guys, these uh, readings could be energy in or around you. So this could be something you're going through, something your person's going through, um, or it could be, you know, something that a close friend or family member is going through. Um, this could also be, uh, you know, it is intended to be love, but this could also be for a friend or family member, okay? It could be, you know, anybody that you care about, okay? All right, guys, let's go ahead and get started with your reading, and uh, I hope you guys enjoy. All right, my loves, let's see what we have here for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Guys, if you would like to follow me on TikTok, the link is below. Um, so let's go ahead and start with some channeled messages real quick. So Taurus, I feel like there's this energy of someone here had a lot of options. They had a lot of options, and they're coming to this realization that they chose the right one. Okay, so Taurus, if it was you that had a lot of options, um, you're going to find yourself in a relationship and you're going to start to realize that, wow, I made the right choice. You know what I'm saying? I really did. Or Taurus, if your person had a lot of options, they're thinking this about you. Um, someone is, is starting to realize how everyone else doesn't measure up, right? So Taurus, either you're going to start comparing all your other options to this person, they're doing it to you, and they're starting to realize that, man, I picked the best one, you know? So let's see what we have here, Taurus. Clarity, guidance, love messages. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my beautiful Taurus. Tell me about Taurus, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Tell me about Taurus, sun, moon, rising, and Venus, please. Taurus, sun, moon, rising and Venus. We have the Ace of Wands. We have the Four of Cups in the reverse. We have the Ten of Pentacles. And we've got the Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. So what I'm feeling here, guys, is I feel like, Taurus, this is the side of the person that is telling people, you know, how do I want to put this? I feel like someone here is no longer interested in one night stands. You know what I'm saying? Just talking to somebody, the fast life or whatever. Someone here is no longer interested in that. They don't want it. What they want here is a queen of pentacles and a ten of pentacles. They want long-term stability here. With the nine of wands and the uh, four of wands here and the two of swords, I feel like someone here is cutting everyone out and cutting everyone off, okay? Major defense mode. With the four of wands here, someone here has found stability, love, financial future, like financial goals. 
they have chosen the best one out of all their options and they're cutting everyone off to focus on this one person okay so let's see what we have here tell me about the ace of wands the tower aries scorpionic energy tell me about the four of cups in the reverse four of cups and ace of pentacles okay taurus this could be a representation of someone coming back around taurus someone may be missing you um they may be wanting another chance and taurus you're sitting here like nope sorry you missed your opportunity um it may come out of nowhere you may it may be shocking to even hear from this person um and you know you're gonna be like no you missed your opportunity i'm in a very healthy happy relationship right now you're 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 choosing the better option here the strength card with the queen of pentacles and the ten of pentacles and the chariot yeah um, yeah, no, you're, you're in peace. You're happy. You're getting your wish fulfillment. Um, I, I feel Taurus that someone's going to come back around and the answer is sorry. You had your chance. You know what I'm saying? I'm in a very happy connection now. And, uh, the answer is no. Tell me about, ooh, tell me about Taurus, sun, moon, rising and Venus, please. Tell me about Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. So we have the Ace of Cups. We've got the Four of Pentacles. We have the Six of Swords. And we've got the Knight of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries, Energy, Under the Deck, the Three of Wands, and the Eight of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles, the Six of Wands, and the Emperor. Taurus, this is the side of somebody that has seen that you have moved on to something new. And with the Four of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands, this person is coming in selfishly wanting to keep you to themselves. With the Three of Wands and the Eight of Swords, ever since you've moved away from this person and moved on to something new, solid, and stable, they have not been able to get you out of their head. With the Ace of Pentacles, the Six of Wands, and the Emperor, Emperor, Taurus, this person sees you moving on to a relationship that is steady, happy, solid, healthy, and they don't like it. And they don't like it. They want to come in and be selfish and try to get you back. Tell me about this Ace of Cups. Oh, no. Wrong deck. Tell me about this Ace of Cups here for Taurus, please. Ace of Cups for Taurus. We've got the Ten of Pentacles. Tell me about the Six of Swords for Taurus. The Four of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles here twice, Taurus. Someone here, and look, the Ten of Pentacles is right here. You got the Ten of Pentacles here twice. So Taurus, someone is watching you move on to something stable, something steady, something with a long-term stable future, and they don't like it. This person wants to keep you with them. Tell me about this Four of Pentacles. Yep, see? Page of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles. This person's going to come in to try to test and see if you feel the same way. You see, they're trying to sneak their way in. You've got a third party here that's trying to sneak their way in to cause confusion, cause drama, because they want this to end. Whatever major commitment that you are in right now, the King to the Queen of Pentacles, this person is trying to cause drama. So someone here is trying to block your blessings, Taurus. So I would be careful. Tell me about the challenge here for Taurus. Tell me about the challenge here. Six of Cups. There's the X. Five of Pentacles being left behind. And the Six of Pentacles. So the challenge here, the challenge here is that you have someone from the past that you are leaving behind. Okay? That wants to come back around and see if you feel the same way. They're going to poke at this to see if they can get a rise out of you. Okay, because with the seven of wands and the hierophant and the nine of swords, it stresses this person out to see that you are serious about moving on and having a life. It really, they don't like it. Tell me about the outcome here for Tor. Oh, that is way too many cards. Way too many cards. Tell me about the challenge here for Taurus. 
about the challenge here for Taurus. Taurus, you might be leaving this person on red. You may not be answering this person, but Taurus, this person is in their head. They're in like a mental prison just waiting to see if you guys can work it out. Yep. This person is just waiting on the sidelines to see if you will answer them, all right? This person's coming in, they're coming back because they have this selfish energy where they want to hold you to them and they don't want to, um, they don't want to let this go, okay? They don't want to let this go. All right, guys, I love you so much and take care.